is Bob Maloney from my MMA News. Talking with Dylan Harnish. Dylan has a Mick Martial cage fight coming up at Art of War 14. And in a week, Dylan, my man, you got a week left before your fight. Give me the lowdown on what you're going to do for your final week and how you're feeling. Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, the rest of the week, we're going to take it pretty light. Uh, I'm fighting at 145 again. So uh, that's, I'm not killing myself to get down to 35 or get down to 140. So this is going to be uh, relatively easy. So I'll be. Ready to put on a show for everybody there Saturday. Great. Now listen, on for, well, I was at your last fight. It was a uh, it was a kickboxing fight, and you came away on the losing end on the judges' scorecards. What did you learn from that from that fight? Listen, they say you learn more from a loss than a win. What did you take from that fight that you had at USKA? Uh, well, yeah, that was um, it was. I felt good in there, uh, but uh, the first round I got dropped with a knee to the body, and. Uh, I was playing catch up from the beginning. Uh, no, we were going back and forth, just bickering, uh, hyping the fight up a little bit. There was no uh, hard feelings there. I'd like to get that fight back, of course. I don't want that on my record and uh, not being able to get my chance back. But uh, I started off very slow. Um, I was reading. I was doing a lot of reading, uh, reading his movements, trying to get some reactions out of him, uh, more or less than focusing on my offense. The second and third round, I came up with more offense and uh, – you seen how the second and third rounds came up. The second round was pretty close. Could have went either way. The third round I won. Um, so I'd like to get that back and do that again. Uh, he was very respectful after. Nothing but uh, good things to say about him and uh, his team. But uh, I'd like to get that one back. I know Gary's doing a card December 7th. We'll probably do something uh, other than that fight. But after the December 7th card and November 23rd, I'd definitely like to get back in there and uh, try to – Get rid of that loss, you know, just try to make up for it and be more offensive. And that's what's going to happen on Saturday, November 3rd. I'm looking to go in there, put the pressure on, and uh, not wait, not make reads. Uh, it's going to be fun. When last time we talked, you had had a little change in in your camp as far as where you're training. Give me a little bit now. Tell me who your, your head coach is, who's going to be working with you for this fight, and, uh, you know, what you're concentrating on. So uh, my head coach is Eric Strasser. He was always there to begin with, but now he's the man in charge. And uh, Josh Jones will be in the corner. Uh, speaking of Eric, he just uh, came in first place at the finishers tournament in Allentown in the purple, black, uh, and brown belt division. Uh, so I'd like to congratulate him. And uh, my opponent, I don't know much about him, but uh, supposed to be very good on the ground. And training with Eric, that's gonna I'm going to be more than ready. Nothing that... Uh, Matt Nichols is going to show me isn't going to it's not going to be something I didn't see before from Eric. He's on a whole nother level than many people around here. So I feel ready for that. And I think, like I said, with many people, my stand up is unmatched uh, compared to most people. So uh, I think he's going to be out there diving, trying to grab a leg very early. Well, I always compliment you about your cardio. Do you to work on your cardio? Do you do mostly sparring? Do you run? What do you do to work on your cardio when you're in camp? Because a lot of fighters do different things. I talk to some guys, they don't like to run at all. They like to just spar. Other guys, they'll run a marathon. What do you do to work on your cardio? I don't think anybody likes to run. Uh, it's not the most fun thing, especially out in this weather over here. But uh, sparring definitely gets you in shape, gets you ready. Uh, we call it grinders when we're going real hard. Um, so that'll get you in shape. Definitely got to run. I think running's the best thing for you. Um, and I, I'm young still. I'm 19. Uh, I'm full of energy. I'm energetic. I'm always in an uppity mood, in a good mood. So uh, I'm sure I'll have to run a lot more as I get older and deeper into the sport when I don't have this kind of energy towards it anymore. But uh, right now, it's just I'm being young. I'm happy. I'm having fun doing it. So uh, running and sparring and doing all this stuff that nobody wants to do is not a problem for me. You know what? For a 19-year-old, you have been in the cage a couple times, in the ring a few times. So you obviously like to stay busy. What do you see? Give me a prediction for this fight. Are you going to finish him standing up? Or are you going to submit him? What in your mind? What do you? How do you see the fight playing out? Oh, I'd love to submit him just to quiet everybody saying that I'm just a cage boxer and all that nonsense. But uh, uh, I think he's going to be shooting. and I think he's going to eat something coming in. Uh, I know his stand up isn't anything like mine. He's competed in only grappling tournaments, and uh, I just know that something's going to hit him. And with those tiny gloves, uh, everything I hit. John Wonder with my kickboxing fight. I could see it in his eyes where uh, it stunned him. He told me after it, his head was hurt. And he never got hit that hard in all seven of his fights. Um, 
I just know with the little gloves, I'm going to be able to put them away. And everything I hit them with in the kickboxing fights, I just kind of hit them with it. And then I said, oh, shit, there's an op- an opening. And I would just sit there and glamour at it and not uh, – I wouldn't attack after that. But this – I think he's going to get dropped, and I think we're going to be able to put him away. Great. Give some shout-outs or some love before we go. I know the time is winding down, and you only have probably to cut a little bit of weight. So give some shout-outs before we roll, my man. Uh, everyone that's going to be coming out there, uh, I've been talking to the promoter, Mike Bickings. Uh, he really, he really, he's really on me. He wants me to put on a show and, uh, he says that there's going to be a lot of people here. So everyone that I don't know, I want them to remember me. I want to steal the show from everybody, pros, amateur, whatever. I want everyone to leave there remembering my name specifically. And when they see me on the next Art of War card or any card anywhere, USKA, uh, they want to come out and see it. But, uh, again, congrats to Eric. He's going to be in my corner. It's, uh, along with Josh. We're working on some things to get him involved in the USKA uh, December 7th. Lauren Strasser, she's competing in a pro grappling tournament today, uh, tonight uh, uh, for finishers at the, I think it's 105 pound weight class. So I, I hope she comes home with the money and uh, makes us all proud. And uh, Mike Gribos, he's competing um, in a little tournament there as well. But uh, everyone that's going to be supporting me along the way and that has so far, I just appreciate them all. And uh, we're just going to put on another show. And this time we'll come home happy with the win and, uh, put that loss behind us and then try to work on December 7th and see what's next. Beautiful. Well, listen, I look forward to calling your fight. I'll be cage side commentating. And if you get the victory, obviously you'll be happy to see me in the center of, of the cage. Of Have a great week. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and uh, keep grinding, keep learning. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great final week. All right. Thank you. My man.